Hi guys. Well, it's time to take Jack outside. He's been outside wandering all over the place, of course, um, looking for Lily, the poor dude. So, I've, I've done this now a couple of times for Jack, is just to get in some exercise and I guess tire him out a little bit and get his mind off of being love struck at the moment. Uh, it's a good thing to do, take his snake outside. And just like us, you know, when we're feeling something or not feeling something or whatever, to take our mind off of things, we read a book, or we might watch a good movie or we call a friend on the phone um, and say g'day and you know for me um, I can do that for my snakes but in a different way and that is think to myself what would they really like to do and it's a little bit windy and the wind is a little bit got a nippy but not you know in the sun it's it's absolutely glorious so I'll settle on down and I'll let Jack um, get down and um, he can go. go for a little wander and, and get his mind off that beautiful girl that he knows is inside <laughs> pretty much um, at the moment and I can have a good look at his um, belly where he didn't have such a good shed but that all looks pretty good to me and I've been keeping the vitamin E oil on his belly so uh, yeah looks um, looks mighty fine I'm not um, worried about him but I was but not now so yeah this is you know, one way too, I think, for people to understand that this exercise, you know, you've got a snake that's pacing in their enclosure and um, it just doesn't settle and, and won't settle and is acting very energetic uh, to get them out and give them some exercise is uh, a way of tiring them out and uh, Jed I will shut that front door and then um, you'll find that they're very content to then settle and and have a sleep and be much more contented and you know, of course, my boy will go to the toilet while he's out here um, as well. So that's always um, a good thing, of course. But, yeah, it's certainly a way for your snake to burn off some energy. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's good for them. That's just how I see it. I, I can't see um, doing this as, as not a good thing for them. But of course I have to check that because those steel bars get very, very hot. Come back this way, dude, with mum. Okay? And don't go over that way. Because I want you, I don't want you to go over that way. You're going to, to of course, go over that way, aren't you? So yeah, I always recommend, you know, especially for Jack right now, who is in that real hot mode of breeding season and and so forth. That 
you know, for me, I know this is one way of getting him to take his mind off it for a, for a little while at least. And, and it will tire him out. So, you know, he's been out for a good hour or more now. So I know that when I go and put him back in, he's going to feel more wanting to just lay down, chill out, have a nap, um, hopefully, hopefully, see, they're going back over on that, um, on that bar again, dude, and I, sorry, I'm, I'm in Zoom and I'm spinning him around here, try and deter him, but he's, oh, I don't know, just wants to go where he wants, oh, good boy, go that way, not that way. Not the other way. I got my cat meowing. Mia's, Mia's coming for her visit, as Mia does. Come on. I see ya. I see you. Yes. I know. I'm. I'm trying to stop Jack from going in the wrong place. And he keeps on going over there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I see you, I see you, that's just Jack, it's only Jack, out for a bit of a wander, hey, you just want smooches too, do you, always, always, whoop, you're standing on his tail, <laughs> Jack's like moving it out of the way, there, Oh my goodness, I know. It's only Jack. Last time I sat here, I had a couple of green ants crawl up, crawl up the leg of my pants and I suffered for it a little bit later. But uh, I think I'll move off before they decide to, to do that again to me. Not very pleasant on your cheek, but having a green ant bite you um, at all. What can you see, Jack? No lily, is there? Hey? Certainly no lily. Head on over to the rubbish bins and then I'll have to Collect you again, won't I? Oh, that sun has got some nice, nice warmth in it, so, you know, UV, bit of UV. We all need it, even snakes, to some degree. And, it, you know, when you take your snakes outside a few times a week, yeah, no, I don't believe UV is very essential within their enclosures, but I am leading more towards um, UV and do have it for my younger snakes who don't get out here as much as my big guys. And I certainly do have it for my diamond. And that has been kind of recommended that it is a good idea for, for diamonds. So I'm more than happy to to do that. Um, I don't know what kind of studies or anything have been done that's just been um, kind of the, the recommendation um, with diamonds. So, and yeah, and I've spoken to a few people, you know, not just one or whatever. I've, I've asked a few people's opinions and others have said, no, I don't think it's really important. And others have said, yes, it's a good idea. Um, diamonds do have a bone deficiency um, thing they can develop in their lives. And, um, sorry, I'm just, uh, just bringing Jack back, of course. And uh, he, can, he can head in this direction. 
if he wants to um, for a little while instead of going over to those rubbish bins dude instead of going to those rubbish bins oh you can get up high can you <laughs> you can get up high with mum's help oh believe me he can get up high when he when he absolutely wants to but it's you know when he's climbing and doing his thing but otherwise he has his nose to the ground and cruises along and does his thing and yeah and I, I um, I've just got to say I think more than anything bringing them outside is as much a pleasure for me and having that time with them as I believe it to be um, a pleasure for them as well so you know there's a little bit of it in there for me and my, or just for me personally but I do it for them as well so a little bit of selfish um, because I love sitting outside and I love getting outside and maybe that's a bonus for my snakes the fact that I do like it and I do enjoy it so um, it gives me you know oh I'm going outside because I'm taking one of my snakes out um, but it's the truth you know I I would do this with or without snakes so um, they just get the bonus of it um, well, and I see it as a bonus and I, you know I've said so many times if you have the availability um, to be able to do it um, with your snakes um, do it and, I, and it doesn't matter uh, what species of snake that you have you know it doesn't matter the species this isn't just for carpet pythons um, you know my little um, my little spotteds um, love it as much as my big snakes do so what are you doing dude gonna come up on my camera hey gonna come up and see mum there's the camera yeah what you looking at I don't even know if you can see his face but um, yeah they all love it gives you you time to to connect with your snakes because they'll come to you for that security and that safety while they're out, they're out here and they will they will come to you if they have that that bond with you and that trust with you it is just shown to you out here yeah Jack only goes so far and he turns around and he comes back and I've got a couple of clips that I'll put in I'm um, showing you Jack doing that um, and I can call Jack back Well, this is calling your snake back. And what I generally do is when Jack's heading too far away, all I do is bang on the side. He can hear me dinging that and he'll turn around and he'll just head on back to me. You know, snakes aren't deaf guys. They can hear everything. So when you think that you're talking to them, that they can't hear you, you are wrong. They can completely hear you. They do know their names, for sure, and they will respond to it if you say it often enough to them. They need to learn that too. And the sound of it, 
and so on and I'm ready to pretty much go inside now we've been out here for a good three quarters of an hour um, which is you know I've spent longer out here and it's a perfect day to spend longer out here uh, but I do want to bring Sia out as well and uh, Maya is hiding herself in the blanket now but I'm just waiting for for the boy to return so that we can go inside what do you think Jack coming in coming inside now you ready to go home I think you are you know Lily she would be heading across and going up to the door pretty much on her own and that's her way of saying to me it's time to go home mum um, Jack he tends to physically come back to me and and tell me in that way that he has had more than enough outside time so yeah call your snake say their name name your snake but I really don't have to do I hey. mum really doesn't have to what are you doing I'm licking mum bear on the nose hey yeah he was that's a couple of licks on my nose I guess that's his way of giving mum a kiss um, he's give me a lick on my nose but guys yeah we're just out in the sunshine enjoying the sunshine today for a little while and uh, I'll finish off here just a chill day very chill day very relaxing day I've got a big weekend because I am putting a mayor into a new enclosure so I'll take you on that journey or as much as I can um, so take care of yourself your family your friends your snakes the postman and I'm sure he appreciates the fact that my dogs are inside but yeah all your animals thanks for watching ciao